I would like to warmly welcome you to our Sunday moments from All Saints Parish Church in Mullingar County, West Meath, on this the third Sunday after Trinity. As we do at each Sunday moments, we begin with a prayer. And so let us pray in the words of the Collect appointed for this Sunday. Almighty God, you have broken the tyranny of sin and have sent the Spirit of your Son into our hearts, whereby we call you Father. Give us grace to dedicate our freedom to your service, that we and all creation may be brought to the glorious liberty of the children of God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We now prayerfully listen to our first hymn for our Sunday moments this week. for this Sunday is taken from the fourth chapter of the Gospel according to St Mark beginning at the 35th verse and it tells of Jesus calming the storm. That day when evening came he said to his disciples let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind they took him along just as he was in the boat there were other boats with him. A furious storm came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. 
the disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calm. He said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This is indeed the Gospel of the Lord. The Sea of Galilee can have very, very rough storms. It was the Sea of Galilee in which this story we've just heard is set. On the western shore, even to this day, where there are the car parks, there are warning signs up saying that cars can be swamped by the waves if the storms get going. But this passage of scripture we've read is not about danger and it's not about rescuing. We remember in the words of the Psalms how we have, they speak of the Creator God who has the power to overcome the raging of the seas. And the ancient people in the Bible that we read of Apart from the fishermen, they were not seafaring people. They left that to the Phoenicians who lived in the north of the country. And so for them, the sea symbolized the power of evil. It was threatening to destroy the very creation that God had made and to undermine God's purposes. Remember in the book of Daniel that we hear that the sea is where the monsters come from. So Jesus is saving the disciples from the storm. It's an example showing God's power. And we know of God's power in creating the world in the first place. And through the story and death and resurrection of Jesus, this power of God rests within Jesus. And of course, the power of evil was broken on the cross of Calvary when Christ became our Saviour. The manifestation of evil is still present in the world today and can be very threatening. We as Christians are blessed to know that through the power of Christ that evil can be overcome. When people turn their hearts and their minds and give their lives to Christ and are saved. That holds out a wonderful hope for all to ensure that God's purposes can indeed be fulfilled. Fulfilled. Now let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave of yourself without counting the cost, offering even your own life for the life of the world. So now we pray for all those who seek to love you in return, however hesitant, partial, or imperfect their love might be. Inspire them through your love. We pray for those new in their faith, still learning more of you, still uncertain, perhaps of their commitment, still discovering more of your love, 
Keep their love always growing. We pray for those established in their faith, facing the daily risk of growing complacent, stale, settled into a comfortable routine. Make their love ever fresh. We pray for those whose faith has crumbled, no longer holding the trust they once held, no longer feeling you close by their sides, no longer seeking to follow Christ. Renew their love. We pray for those who have never had faith, those consistently unmoved by the message of the gospel, those who resist its challenge despite themselves, and those who willfully go against your will, kindle a love for you in their hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, your love is for all, whoever they may be. May it reach out then into every heart and every place, and may we be a part of that, learning to love you as you love us. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all this day and remain with us forevermore. Amen. May I again thank you for joining us for Sunday Moments from All Saints Parish Church in Mullingar County, Westmeath. I hope the week ahead will keep you well and safe. And if you're heading off on holidays, I hope you'll have a lovely, restful and enjoyable time. God bless you and thank you again for your company. And now we're going to conclude our Sunday moments by listening to the singing of another lovely hymn.